Okay, so what I'm going to be talking to today is other forms of project products. What a product is, is the thing you create after you're done with all your research, after you've gotten your experts, after everything is done. Now, you already know the three basic ones, which are PowerPoints, papers, and presentations. Um, and, uh, PowerPoint, posters, and presentations, otherwise what my teacher called the three Ps. Uh, they're okay in some forms, like if you're doing, if you're researching something and all you're creating is a paper, like a scientific, scientific paper, mm -hmm. then a paper would be acceptable. If you're researching a country, a presentation would be acceptable. But you kind of want to stray away from them, because that's what everyone does. Everyone uses the three Ps. So I have a lot of different other options for you. Uh, one of them, and the one I probably use the most, is Prezi. You can press escape. Uh, I actually need to take over. Prezi. Um, what it looks like is this. It's like it's like a PowerPoint, except and then when I close one point here. Uh, it's like a PowerPoint, except it's a lot cooler. Like I did this one two years ago on the Civil War. Um, uh, as you can see, it moves a lot. Just keep on clicking through it, uh, uh, and it looks like this. It's like an interactive PowerPoint. This would be used a lot for history papers. This is what I use it for here. And then, of course, the bibliography, because you've got to look nice. Um, and then, when you're creating one, it looks like this. You need to choose your format of it. Let's just say, how about which one you like? Uh, let's use creativity. Uh, it'll give you something like this. You get to add titles. You get to add information. It's basically like a PowerPoint, as I said except a lot more complicated and a lot cooler looking, and it just makes everything look nicer. The next thing I would like to show you is Audacity. <laughs> what this is, is an audio editor. This is the first thing we used. Uh, you can import audio, you can cut it up, and mess, mess with it. What we did is we had a, a recording of a teacher talking, and we just got to mess with it and make him say silly things. But um, you can export, which means take the audio that you've created and put it onto your computer. And it's a great way for uh, what we use for, for poems, uh, for creating sound effects, and stuff like that. Another one that we used probably the most was MeVideo. It's a uh, free online video creator. Uh, sorry the picture's so blurry, don't know why it is. Uh, what it looks like is like this. You import video, you get to put sound clips over it, you get to add video, cut it up, Add effects. There's countless free tutorials, different modes for. Yes. Isn't it kind of like iMovie? Yes, it is kind of like a, a less complicated version of iMovie, um, and it allows video clips to be imported. And uh, even if you made an animation, which we'll talk about later, you get to import it into this. This is what we made. We made the most a uh, cool project idea. Uh, who's heard of the bad lip reading? Anybody? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, we got to use, create bad lip reading in this. That's another thing you can use Audacity for, is if you are recording Audacity, you can import it to this. Next one is Jelly Cam. I'm, why are the pictures so blurry? That's terrible. Uh, what this is, is, excuse me, is a stop motion creator. You can take pictures and then make your own stop motion. What's really cool about it is it has this thing called ghost mode, where it shows you where your last picture was taken. So you get to take a picture over that picture to make sure that everything is in the detail. Uh, there's copy, with the, there's copy, so you can copy everything and make it go over again. You can flip, you can change how fast it goes and how slow it goes. And it's also very easy to export. Ankle Ride, this is possibly my favorite thing. Uh, everyone knows about Choose Your Own Adventures, right? Well, this is uh, Choose Your Own Adventure Creator. I'm actually going to use this one in a project coming up uh, uh, about the history of racism. Uh, what you do is you put in a text, as you see here, and then if you add options, you can make loops. I love making loops. It annoys people. Um, and yeah, it's just basic, but it's really fun. Uh, useful links. I just went really fast. I wonder why. Useful links, uh, Audacity, Sound Bible. Um, when Sound Bible and free music, free sound, and sound clips are copyright free sounds, because when you're creating a product, you can't just take music and sound from whatever. You have to uh, cite the source correctly and then use copyright free sound. Um, go back and then thank, say thanks to my teacher. Go that kind of way. Say thanks to my. 
Uh, say thank you to my amazing teacher. Okay, everyone say thank you to him. Thank you, Zoro. Yeah. Yeah. All right, go up, go up to the, what, uh, up, 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 that one. All right, so I'll explain each of these a little bit better. These three are all animation, because you all know what animes are. Uh, this is where you get to create your own kind of animation kind of things. Um, and then video editors, I showed you that. Uh, I don't know what to talk about. Anyone have any questions? Can you show, oh, I'm sorry, can you show any examples of some of the things that you've created with them? Do you have any that you have other ones you can show? I don't. I use them all on friends' accounts and school computers. Okay. Um, can you go to the slide where it said all different options for Huh? Like other options, there's, there's, there's like another slide, another slide where you had all those um, other like sounds and stuff. Down all the way to the bottom. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna share this. My mom will share yeah. this with you guys, so you can grab this if you want. All those, everything in here is linked, so you can grab the information. Back to that slide. Um, any other questions about any of these up here? Where, let's say, you have a character that attacks something, and if you want to, when you attack something, to just go back to this, uh, go back to another option that you have previously created, uh, then you can do that. Any other questions? Yes? I don't have an example with me, I'm sorry. If you go to one of those websites, would it have a, it like an example on there? your clients with an amazing presentation. You take this the small screen and with this. Oh. <laughs> so you know what it's like when you want this to impress your clients with an amazing presentation? Animator. You take your graphs, add some clip art, and spice the whole thing up with some fancy transitions. But somehow, it doesn't always have the desired effect. So one day you come across one of those super cool promotional cartoons and you think to yourself, wow, something like that would definitely catch my client's attention, but then you find out that it costs like a gazillion bucks to make. So you start scouring the web for a tool that can create extraordinary presentations for free. It's just that nothing out there is just quite the thing you're looking for. This tool just moves pictures around and this one swivels so much you get seasick. And to operate this one, you have to be a rocket scientist. Wouldn't it be cool if there was a tool that allows you to create professional looking animated presentations and cartoon style videos? just by dragging and dropping stuff onto a page? Well, now there is. Powtoon is a new tool that is so simple and intuitive, it allows anyone who ever used PowerPoint or Keep. As you can see, this is what the animator looks like. Uh, any questions about the animator as it's open? All of this was created in the animator. People are really cool. Any questions? You know, David, how, um, have you done anything with animation when you have had uh, something that is more factual based or research based like how could you imagine using animation say if you were doing a, a project that was more for social studies or science or something like that what what are some things that you've seen other people do or that you've done maybe if you're researching cells you can uh, show how the cells work you can instead of just talking to yourself you can have someone else talk while you show certain things on the board uh, relating to science or the history Maybe if you want to have an example of some, some of the things that happened in previous wars in history. Mm. Anything, any, any other questions? 